is visible. We are not able to see the slide from the presentation window is visible. Okay, one second. No, now it is visible, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, sorry, ma'am, we are not able to see the slides, ma'am. Can oh. I just open the PPT? That's what I'm sitting on. Yeah, is it ma'am? Yeah. Is ma'am? Yes, okay. it is fine now. Okay. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Myself, Dr. S. Vasundara, Assistant Professor of Mathematics, Jinarayanama Institute of Science and Technology, Paromen, Hyderabad. So, IoT Academy gave the opportunity to be a resource person of today's session about the online tools for better education. So, before that, we can have some uh, uh, concept about the importance of online education. So, um, during this online education, like we already struggled with so many things in during the COVID crisis, we, the teacher fraternity, have a lot of problem with taking the concentration of the students, how to make them more effective so that our teaching strategy will be in a good condition. So in that time, millions of people from all over the world is saying that the importance of online education, like uh, during the COVID crisis and also after that, many people are going to other countries to get the better education as well as a better employment. Suppose we the people, the students who are sitting at their home and comfortably and they have to learn the things, whatever they need to check it, why they need to spend much amount of money. So in that crisis, we have that uh, and, and if different types of platforms are came under the section of this online education. So today I have a talk and about how we need to apply the different types of resources in Moodle, how to create a Moodle account, developing the content in the Moodle account, as well as developing different types of materials, enrolling the students, similarly awarding the badges to the corresponding students. So Moodle is a very good platform for the teachers' fraternity so that the people all the way at their home and they can open this site and they can learn the things in a better way. The acronym for Moodle is nothing but Modular Object Oriented Dynamic Learning Environment. So uh, just now we had a talk about the importance of online education. There we can do with some concepts related to blended learning also. So blended learning is nothing but we can combine the online education materials for interaction online with the traditional based classroom methods. So in general, in our physical classroom training, what type of so we are observing the students coming to the classes and the teacher will explain the concepts. Once the teacher will give the concepts to the students, after going home, they will complete the assignment, desired level, and again, they will reproduce the things. The same way in going to this e-learning, not completely the whole concept is teach by the teacher. The student will, the teacher will give some inputs about a particular content, and the student has to explore whether they need to search the things by internet, or they need to share the things with their friends, and they can have think and they'll pair with the friends, and then only they will share. So combination of these two classroom training as well as the e-learning will be known as the blended learning. So here also we have another type of uh, classroom, which is a flipped classroom. This is also a type of blended learning where the students are introduced 
to content at home and they need to practice walking through it in an institution and simply this is the reverse of the more common practice of introducing new contents suppose the students will check out about the corresponding assignments and projects and they need to complete by themselves and they'll reproduce in the uh, respect to classroom so in the traditional classroom generally it's looking like a one way method only the teacher will teach us and the student will understand immediately next step the student will reproduce whereas in the flipped classroom not completely the physical classroom training should be there they need to explore more rather than completely listening what the teacher will give so teacher instructs lessons at home like in the flipped classroom what they need to extract some more information about depends on the video or podcast or books or websites whereas in the traditional classroom the teacher will instruct the student take the notes and they will follow some guided instructions the teacher will have some assessment after that they will write that examination and they will re reproduce the things so offering the mooc courses also become very essential for nowadays the students they need to go for extra learning things after the covid n number of changes that happened in the special in education system so like nptel become the star mark of this time because so many people they had a dream on their mind that okay i need to study in iit so that i can be in a some good position but not it is possible for every person to be in the iit so the school the people the who are working in the iit they need to create some modules depends on the modules they can learn the things at, at their comfortable zone and uh, they can get the certification from the iitms so it is a learning platform where this module is a learning platform designed to provide such type of education with a single robust it is a secure and integrated system to create the personal so here we can have like in hands on session how to register for the moodle cloud site because we the teachers are making the students more favorable to that in such a way they need to after the corresponding contents by sitting all the way at their home and they can open the site and they learn the things and they'll write that examination so if you want to register our course in a moodle cloud suppose the, the people generally they need to go to the moodlecloud.com i so after this lecture i'll give you that hands on session also how to register our site and how to upload content and how to upload the students as well generally we need to go to create an account in moodle site we need to go to the website of www.moodlecloud.com the interface of that moodle site should be like this here we need to register ourselves first by giving our login credentials like we need to check whether you are 18 years old and you need to be act as a teacher and some plans also there because this moodle cloud site is not a free site till some period of time maybe 40 days or 30 days only they will give the free trial version suppose we need to maintain the same site for a long time we need to purchase the domain for the purchase of the domain they have given some different types of prices here but generally we need to go for a uh, free trial version only in the free trial version after open this moodle cloud it is asking about are you new to the moodle ready to get started already you have an account suppose i am new to the moodle then i need to give my credentials like with all the agreements i confirm that i am an 18 years old and i agree to the moodle cloud term services then i can register myself because i need to confirm all the conditions 18 years old and i am abed of the rules given by the moodle cloud site and i agree to the data processing agreement like that i need to click all the agreements then i will go with the writing my name my mail address my mobile number from where you are uh, accessing the site then once your registration is completed 
you have to get the confirmation mail from your mail account suppose i am registering like that because my uh, basic is related to mathematics my background so i need to check a course or i need to give a course to the students which are related to mathematics then i can say mathematical methods dot moodle cloud dot com for example you are a teacher related to computer science then you can create your site with the name of computer engineering dot moodle cloud dot com or english so whatever the course you are enrolling or you are making the materials to the corresponding you should give that the respect to course like mathematical methods dot cloud dot com or computer science introduction to data analytics dot com like that you can write your site then it will comes to your mail id that your site is ready with that once your site is ready then you need to upload some material to the corresponding site see i already explained here this moodle site is given for only free trial version like one month or 40 days only if you want to maintain the course for over a period of time maybe one year or two years it is not easy to purchase that domain from moodle site the same way of making the thing comfortable like adding the course uploading the material uploading the students then we have one more site this is known as the genomeo.com same like Moodle Cloud, we have that genomeo.com, www.genomeo.com. Then again, we need to go to the site. Same credentials you have to mention, like your name, 18 years above, and writing your email address. And what is the course you are uploading to the site? You should write down the domain name of the site and you can enter. For example, if I'm writing here, maths1.genomeo.com then i will get the corresponding course should be ready in the genomeo site i here i'm explaining here moodle cloud site as well as genomeo site see in the case of moodle cloud site it is only for the free trial version for over a period of 15 days or one month only whereas doing this genomeo site it is completely free only. You need to maintain the site to one year, two years, like adding all the courses. It should be very compatible to the teacher faculty. Okay, now our site is ready and we got a confirmation from them such that your site is ready with that. Next, what is the point we have to add after our site is ready? We need to add the course to the respective site by Suppose if I am related to mathematics, I need to add a course related to numerical methods. Or you are related to English person, you need to add a course related to professional skills. Like that, you need to add the content. To select the course tab, I will show you the hands-on session bit while. So once your Moodle dashboard is ready, then you can go to the site administration in the Moodle dashboard then manage the course and categories to link to select the category for your course from the list available or create a new one if desired then you can add the new course after adding the new course you can give the corresponding to the respect to students see suppose if i'm writing here just i gave the things this is my dashboard in the dashboard I have given a course of mathematical methods. In that mathematical methods, I can add the content by taking the site administration. I can add the content related to unit wise. Once every unit is related to respect to domain, then I can add the students as well. Every time, once you are open your site, it should be like a turn editing mode only. Then you can go to the respect to site. Now, once your course is ready, you content for units to for subject and you are dividing into five units or four units. So for every unit, what are the respect to topics you need to add by taking the turn editing on 
and site administration then you added the course in the every unit then without the students there is no use of adding the course to the respective mail id or the corresponding site then you can go to how to enroll the students in the moodle so you need to enroll the students in the moodle again you need to go to the dashboard site administration then users in the users you have two types of methods are there self enrollment as well as manual enrollment is also there in the self enrollment simply we can give the our course name to the respective mail whoever opt the course or whoever access our course you can give the mail id to the students accordingly they will go so manual enrollment you can create a csv file in that csv file it is containing some uh, data related to name of the student what is their mail id what is that like we can create a dummy password like uh, one two three four suppose student one at the rate of gnets or student two at the rate of gnets like that with some possible criteria you need to create a csv file maybe it is containing 100 members or 200 members the complete csv file we need to upload then our students are ready in our site so that they can access our course suppose the students are the ready and they are accessing our course periodically in the first week we are adding some course related to some content and uh, for some assignment you have given and some quizzes also you opted some students are really doing well sometimes for them we need to give little bit motivation by adding some badges like best performer badge or uh, doing the course in a good way like that we can add some badges to the corresponding students so till now you have any query about the module side then we'll move on to the hands on session let me know is there any query yes is there any query about till now adding the course and content now i can share the corresponding site now are you able to see my site here maths1.genomeo.com everyone yes ma'am yes okay see this is my genomeo site and i have given the name as maths1.genomeo.com once my site is ready here it should be turn edit mode only see edit mode only we can edit the content if you are in half of the edit mode we cannot work out this so always it should be in the right side turn edit mode now here you are seeing home dashboard my courses site administration now immediately i am going to my courses so for example say here i am writing the numerical methods and transform calculus i added two courses here data analytics and numerical methods as a teacher we can add n number of courses in the same site and you can maintain the site forever only thing periodically you can check it out whether any new content should be added or any upgradation is needed for the respect to course or in my site maths1.genomeo.com i am open this course numerical methods and transform calculus in the numerical methods and transform calculus i divided into four topics here i like six topics i divided in first topic introduction like see this is my first topic in the first topic i need to have some introduction about it for example uh, introduction video if i am writing like introduction 
introduction video if I'm writing. So in this introduction video, you can add maybe that video related to any site, NPTEL site, or you can have your own video of importance of why you are offering this course to the students like that. Suppose I added here, see, every time after adding the things here, it should be asking about activities you are doing. See, add an activity or resource. After turn edit mode, we can have an option here add an activity or resource that means for the first topic you need to add an activity maybe that activity is related to assignment or that activity related to some quiz type or any workshop you can add some resources also that resource may be an ebook or that resource may be an url which is containing the famous videos from iats so you can go with the the respect to content and what are all the things you need to add. Suppose resources I need to add, a book I need to add. While adding a book here, if I'm writing here, numerical methods. If I'm writing with numerical methods, I need to write some content here. Like this is the ebook which is related to the basics of what is the algebraic equation transcendental equation and how you are applying for finding the solution of such type of different types of solutions like that you need to write here right this book indicates this book refers to finding a solution for algebra and transcendental equations some some content i need to write here then appearance it should be like a chapter formatting if that book is containing numbers type of bullets are uh, indented like that you need to add common module settings show on course page whatever you are so if you want to give any id number to that and restrict access you can restrict the access the people those who are uh, having the uh, access of the course only can see and uh, they can study activity completion you can give some deadline so that the students can study the book within the given stipulated time and competencies then save and display if you're writing the save and display then here it should be coming manage standard save changes Chapter type is if I'm writing bisection method. I'm writing bisection method. I, I will I will add some content here. That content maybe I can take it the tool by uploading some video or some reference will be there. Then save changes. Bisection method. Okay, and you can write some contents here, some, something you are writing here, and then same thing, just and bisection method, it is there here, yeah. and see some, what are the contents, just I wrote here, you can have an edit mode, no, you can write something about that bisection method. Suppose if I am going to some topic related to second unit, in the topic related to second unit, I'm adding some glossary, making interactive about that. And I can add some quiz also. While adding the quiz here, you can go with previously some question bank you have to prepare. Once your question bank is prepared, then you can add some manual type of questions here suppose if here it is the start attempt i already added some questions here i can add some finish attempt suppose this is which one of the convergence is sensitive to starting value something like that topic four suppose if i'm adding an activity say i'm adding an assignment and right here what is the assignment name assignment one 
I'm writing assignment one. I'll write the description about that assignment one. This assignment. This assignment relates the information to access problems and complete the assignment. The assignment I'm writing. Activity instruction we will do here. Like, uh, suppose if I'm giving in the assignment 10 questions, they need to write all the 10 questions or at least five questions they need to have. Like, there's some instruction I need to do. I can add a file also here. While adding the file, I can have some file related to this at my desktop. Then I can write here. Suppose. I'm writing this and upload this one. Here it is having the Word document. Suppose say this is a document related to assignment questions, for example. Then this document is uploaded and available to from which date you are uploading, like from which date you have to make this available at the site, and what is the due date they have to submit that assignment. That you can mention here. Suppose I am writing here availability of this should be from tomorrow onwards and i'm giving one week time till 22nd till 22nd or i'm saying that only three days i have given like 18th they have to complete the assignment submission type it should be like online text or maximum number and accepted type you can choose accepted file type maybe you can choose they need to upload a document related to word pdf or it is containing some figure type that you have to mention here feedback once the students are completed we can give some feedback okay this is the problem you completed and all the five questions have to be submitted within the stipulated time and grade also you can give some points I have to give some scale default conception separate and connection way. So grading method you can have marking guide or simple direct guide or you can apply tricks accordingly. You can make some changes, save and display. So assignment one I have uploaded in the topic four in the assignment one. What are the instructions I have given? This assignment relates to the information to practice the problem and complete the assignment. Then, after completing the students, they need to get the grading hidden from the because now I am not open this now. It is open from tomorrow. In that restrictions, I have given that availability of my assignment should be from tomorrow onwards and it is accepted till 18th only that's why here hidden from the students it will be accepted from tomorrow onwards okay so like that for every course you can add n number of topics generally we are adding five topics or six topics only in the sixth topic finally say in the sixth topic once your course is completed and you are added different types of materials for all the course, like assignment, what is the content for every unit, extra material, how they need to study, they need to check it from any URL. Suppose add an activity. I'll show you your resource. I need to add an URL here, general applications of applications of numerical methods equations of numerical methods for boundary value problems equations of numerical methods for boundary value problems you can add the url here here we can write the description this video use information related to Applications in 
differential equation differential equations using numerical methods i need to give some description here at the same time what is that url you can write here numerical methods numerical methods i am taking from nptel video for example numerical methods nptel video i am taking and i am taking this link okay that link i can copy here that link i can copy here save and display this link will be here see this video gives information related to applications in differential equations using numerical methods so here i gave that video suppose the people once access my course they are in the sixth topic this is the video they can open in separate window and they can identify the importance of numerical methods in different types of boundary value problems suppose i need to add some embedded code instead of the directly i can add the embedded codes in the embedded code i can add okay copy embedded code and i can keep here paste name some video one video one some description i can write here some description i can write here and what is the appearance automatic and url variable you can do that save and display there's a link here embedded files i can have this one copy embedded code copy video and i can give the corresponding Right. You are a downloader. I can paste here and download. Okay, like this you can do save and display. I'll tell you. Moral downloader, copy link address. And you can write down. Every time you can go to the respective site. Now your site is ready, and the corresponding topics also you added. Then, without the student, there is no use of adding the content and adding some videos and all. how to add the students here again you go to the site administration you have your moodle site here are you able to follow me are you able to follow me see here after having your moodle site maths1.genomeo.com then you go to the home dashboard my course site administration then in the site administration you need to add the participants like users in the users it is asking here browse a list of users or bulk users action suppose i am writing bulk users action then i already have some students here 65 so no that student list that should be in a csv file it is containing name of the student their mail id password and you can give student number 1 student 2 student 3 like that you can get them add to selection and you can add suppose i am having some selection of okay these many students okay add to selection and add the add all now here my students are ready i will tell you the students here
participants. See the participants here. Student 1, email address, what type of uh, role we are giving to them. Because we are adding them, the role should be student. I am not giving any groups here. Simply I have given the group, no group. Like this, we can add them. Like this. After adding them, sometimes we can have the self-enrollment also. In the case of self-enrollment, edit selection users, okay, enroll users. You can check it here. Suppose in the self-enrollment, I am adding only this. 18 number student and 17 number student and randomly I'm picking some students and enroll users. Now three users are enrolled here. Next, like this we can add them. So while enrolling the users, you can have that enrollment can be either in a self-enrollment way or you can go with the manual enrollment also. In the self-enrollment, you can give the related mail address. Automatically, it will go to their site and they can enroll them. Manual enrollment, you can have the CSV file of all the students with the conditions like name of the student, email address, and role, everything. Once your students are there, they can access our course. So, what are all the things you can make to add. See, this is known the very important plugins. In the plugins, manage activities. See, in this manage activities, are you observing blue colored eye is enabled for all the sections like chart, book, external tool, feedback, file, folder, forum, glossary, lesson, page, quiz, all the things are here with the blue colored enabled. Suppose while you are creating a site, it is not necessary that all should be enabled. Suppose you want to disable this quiz, then you can click here, then your quiz will be not open. Suppose I'm going to site administration. Now my course go to this our course and you need to add an activity for example you are adding an activity here quiz will be not there are you observing in that activity assignment book chart choice database this one only enabled because i already disabled the quiz now i need to go to add a quiz to that every topic where i need to go here plugins manage activity there quiz is there now here you go to the quiz and click on this blue color i now your quiz is active accordingly you can add the content to the respect to quiz see numerical methods i'm adding an activity ra resource here suppose i'm adding now here you are observing quiz is ready in this quiz if we want to put a quiz here say i'm writing here quiz one quiz one huh? name of the quiz description students able to complete the quiz in the given time i'm writing like this time okay and the timings also you can mention enable then suppose i am mentioned that 16th i am giving a quiz to the students and close because while open the site not everything should be enabled you have to enable the things and what are all the restrictions you need to give then you can suppose 16th i am open the quiz and uh, after one day i need to close the quiz time limit how much time you are giving uh some minutes and how many minutes you are giving suppose 30 minutes they have to
complete the quiz okay and you are giving the grade pass also minimum 50% should contain it then only that that should be there attempts allowed not n number of attempts you are allowing there you are allowing at least two attempts or one attempt like once they are open the quiz they have to complete the quiz and they should submit if i am writing here attempts allowed two two attempts or three attempts maybe the transparency or reliability of the quiz is not there so you are writing one attempt only they need to question behavior you can write shuffle with the questions because if two people are sitting in the direct at their home and they are writing the answers maybe my first question is also with the same first question there is a chance of completing with the closeness therefore i am shuffling the questions it is not uh, that my first question is same with the first question of the other person now review options you can have during that attempt these are all the options no need to function appearance no image you can have a small image also show the user's picture no image decimal places in grade five five places or one place only uh, safe exam browser yes they need to go for the safe exam browser after all the changes activity completion student can complete that activity exam they have to complete by one day only after that it will not open the course for them to attempt the quiz save and display the grade pass you must enter the number here i am writing grade pass now save and display now my quiz is ready but i didn't add any question here i need to add some questions here while adding the questions i already have some questions suppose then i can take it from my question bank see while adding the question it is asking you need to add a new question are adding from the question bank or a random question suppose i am writing here adding a new question now you can check it out what type of question you are adding multiple choice question or true false question or matching or short answer or numerical essay suppose i am writing multiple choice question add then question name one okay question name I'm writing here suppose by section method question name question text here i'll write what is the order of convergence what is the order of convergence of by section method what is the order of convergence of by section method ready one mark because i it is a multiple choice question means i need to give that options also choice one suppose i am giving what is the order of the convergence of bisection method suppose if i am writing here 1.232 say this is the correct answer that means 100% i will give next to choice two not the same answer suppose 2.03 this is not the correct answer so i can say none and grade 3 what is the choice 3 here choice 3 if i am giving 3.750 this is also not the correct answer grade is 0 and choice 4 so i am writing 8.96 this is also not the correct answer none no need of five choices i have given only four choices save changes now my question was ready here check it here what is the order of the convergence i have given this is the answer these are all the wrong answers save changes and continue editing Save changes. Now my question was added here. Next, I need to add one more question. Suppose I already have some question bank. 
I can check the question bank. These are the questions I already added in my question bank. I can take what is a root correct to two three decimal places when f x equal to f of x plus h then constant k so i am adding this question now my second question was already ready then i need to go with a new question the true or false then question name is the bisection method Is the bisection method useful for finding the root of an equation? Suppose I'm writing a question related to true or false. Is the question ready? Default mark one. The false no and Second option is true. Okay. Here I can write my section method. Here I am writing my section method. I am writing section name three. Now default mark is 3, suppose true, then it should be false, show standard instructions, then save changes. This is my third question, bisection method useful for finding the rope. Then I can add one more question, what type of question I can say, yes, say question I am adding. That means they can write some question number 4, suppose. What is the question I describe? Describe about numerical methods. I'm writing a question like this. Describe about numerical methods. Ready? Response options. That should be plain text they need to write. Require the student to enter the text. 10 lines only. And save changes. Now, my fourth question is ready to describe about numerical methods. Like that, I can add some questions in the quiz format also. See, once your course is ready, you added some content. At the same time, you added some important assignment for grading method, added the students, and also for making them more uh, attractive or interactive, we can add some quizzes also. Suppose some students are doing really good for them, we need to give some types of reinforcement also. For them to reinforce, we can have some plugins like adding badges to them also. To add the badges to the people, we can go to the site administration and go to manage activities then add some badge for them while adding the badge that badge should be like a best performer how to add the best performer you can take the respect to badge like some slide related to writing the best performer or acting the class then you can upload the people those who fit the required conditions for them only we can award the badge if a course is completed for example the students completed all the course then they completed the assignments in the stipulated time and similarly they finish the quizzes and the best performer everything we have then we will move on to the grade report in that grade report depends on the given conditions how you are forming the rubrics you can add them all grades we can have you can have save changes also accordingly we can go to users and what type of 
I just suppose that this is my course, memory cleaner course. And these are my participants, these are my grades. And reports we can competition, competency background, activity reports. Suppose I want to go with activity report, introduction, how many of them completed, numerical methods or bisection, three views by one, one user, chapter information. So these are all the activities I added in topic one. I can check about what is the report for every activity, whether it is completed by the students or it may be any finding with them. Suppose I'm going to the quiz, then 22 views by one, one user, an iteration method. So I can check in the report for all the topics accordingly. I can go with the things. Now, more if I'm going, I can add some badges here. While adding the badge here, add a new badge. So say the new badge name is Best Performer. Best Performer, I am writing version English description for whom we are awarding. This badge is awarded for the students, those, those completed the first topic. First topic. Okay, best performer for unit one, for topic one, if I'm writing. Topic one. So this badge is awarded for the students, those completed the first topic in time. Then choose a file. If I am adding the badge related slide at my desktop, I can check it from there. Suppose if I'm having this modal badge, for example, then it is not there. Like that, we can take it from there. For you can take it from there accordingly, upload the file. Because I didn't attach any file here, I can check it from desktop. Suppose I had any picture, I will see. Sure. Favorite pictures, I don't have any picture. If, if I am adding any badge here, I can upload here. Accordingly, we can upload the badge. And we can create the badges. Best performer, what is the badge you are giving? This is very much useful to the teacher's paternity. That means what? We can add n number of courses into the same site. Suppose first year, I'm adding two courses. And I'm adding the topics, adding the first year students. For the same site, I can add one more course here. I can add one more course here. New course. I'm writing the new course name as say Laplace Transforms. Laplace Transforms. Now this is LT. Then category one search. You can go with a description, course summary. What are all the files you need to save and display? Now, for initially, what is the course I added? I divided into four topics. Now, that's why every time, whatever the course I am adding, these are all the things will be there. In topic one, what I need to add, add an activity. In topic one, I can add some resource, say some book. I can add a book here. Or I can go to adding some lesson i can add some lesson so i can add the things save and display i'm not writing here so something i'm writing save and display here we can do the respective things let me know is there any doubt this is very much useful 
friendly to the staff and you can have a number of courses will be added and the students can also be added you can have these things so i'm going to add some analytics i'm adding some activities some resources and all with this i'm concluding let me know is there any doubt thank you for your patience hearing can i stop sharing my screen ma'am can i stop sharing my screen can i stop sharing my screen yes, am i audible to everyone yes ma'am you're audible ma'am okay can i stop sharing my screen yes ma'am okay thank you ma'am thank you for giving this opportunity okay.